Today we're going to be talking about some potential bad news in the CS2 markets, most specifically the CS2 case markets, but all of these markets do kind of move together. Obviously, if um, you know one level of the game or the markets or whatever is performing well in general, the whole kind of market moves up, and if some things are moving down, generally um, the whole market moves down. When the game's going well, most things are going up. When the game's not doing so well, most things go down. Um, I first uh, did see about this a couple of weeks ago in a Master Shiny video, and then I got some comments about it a few weeks ago as well, um, but I never really had time to get around to diving into it as much, but um, we're going to be talking about some case unboxing numbers. I have a little bit of, I have some people, you know, spooked, a little bit worried, concerned, whatever. We're going to be talking about if those concerns are valid, what I think about it, and what I'm going to be doing going forward um, now that I've seen some of these numbers and seen some of the data and how I feel about it overall. So hopefully this should provide some good insight uh, and good discussion for you guys in this one. But of course, first, just want to mention real quick, if you are looking to sell any of your CS2 items and turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, you should definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below. Uh, we're buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. You can see here, obviously, we've been loading up on some cases. I just got a, a big case haul coming in um, where I was able to pick these up for a good price. We have some, um, you know, patch packs. We have some filler skins, all kinds of stuff, uh, some stickers that I'm really excited about as well. Um, if you have some stuff to sell, if you need IRL money or just to switch up your inventory or whatever, um, we will uh, probably be able to get a deal done. So hit me up over on Twitter. With that being said, let's get right into this today. And uh, first of all, checking in with the overall player base numbers. Obviously, this has some people um, a little bit concerned right off the bat. We have seen um, now for the second straight month. It looks like July uh, is pretty much guaranteed to be a downward month at this point. Now, obviously, I know a lot of people are saying, hey, things tend to slow down a lot over the summer, really just overall in business, in everything. Um, you know, there's not as much going on over the summer. Um, people have free time. People get outside. People go on vacation. People touch grass. They get out. They're not inside playing video games. They're not really even spending a ton of money, whatever. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of in that weird point where it's not the beginning of the year. It's not the holiday season. We're just in kind of that summer lull um, where not a lot of stuff goes down. So a lot of people were expecting some kind of summer slowdown. And really, in general, I was expecting a slowdown at some point because we did have four months of upward gains where the, the player base increased four months straight. Now, that's not going to happen forever. The player base, uh, you know, has never just increased uh, straight up. You can see it's pretty much always been red and green and red and green and red and green. Yes, more green than red. Obviously, it's how we've gotten to where we are. Um, but every time there's a nice little run up, things kind of slow down. Uh, and the fact that we haven't gotten any new exciting content uh, really as of late, there's still a lot of issues with CS2. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of a, a little bit of a downward period in general where people are a little bit bored. People are waiting for something new. And obviously we haven't gotten that just yet. Now I do expect a new update to be coming uh, sometime within the next couple of days because we've been getting an update pretty much at the end of every month uh, for the past couple of months. So hey, our, we haven't really gotten our big July update yet, but um, maybe sometime this week it could be coming. Maybe that'll bring some nice players back to the game. I don't know. There's also no major anything going on right now, no new content, no um, really any reason for the player base to be spiking right now, um, but we still have seen some nice growth in this year, so I'm not really concerned about this. Again, we started January 2024 with an average player count of 760,000. We're up to 889,000 right now, and that's even after being down 6% um, in this month. So that's so really good. We have 1.4 million peak players. I'm not panicking. I'm not worrying about this, but what some people are panicking and worrying a little bit more about is this. This is CSGO Tracker, CS2 Case Tracker, whatever you want to call it for the cases unboxed in the past month right here you can see this number it's a little bit small um, but 16 million 148 thousand cases unboxed in the last month um, looks like it's the past 30 days you know from the 19th of june to the 19th of july in 2024 and if you don't really know anything about cases or whatever you might think that's a good number bad number huge number crazy number insane number i don't know um but what I can tell you is if we start to look back uh, on this history tab uh, and go back to June of 2024, you know, we saw 15 million cases open. Um, but if we go back to May, we actually saw 33 million cases open according to CS2 Case Tracker. And that is what has people concerned that in the month of June and so far in the summer, we have seen a slowdown. Yes, the player base uh, is down, uh, you know, a little bit of a percent, 1% in June and now looking like 6% in July or something like that. But the amount of cases being opened has been cut in half. That has a lot of people spooked. That is a lot of people worried. Again, we can see here in April, it was 30 million. Uh, in March, it was 38 million. In February, it was 31 million. And now, um, you know, we're in this 15 million range in June. And uh, yeah, what do I think about this? I know some people are asking that. Honestly, I'm not too worried. I'm not too concerned. And it's for a bunch of reasons. One, I still really do believe in the long-term health of Counter-Strike. I think CS2 is already a pretty good game. I think it's already a really great game. And I think it's only going to get better from here. I think they're going to continue to figure out the cheating problem uh, and fix all that. I think they're going to hopefully continue 
continue to figure out the connectivity issues, but just understanding that CSGO had issues as well. CSGO um, had cheating issues, had connectivity issues, had lag issues, had ping issues, all that stuff. Um, you know, rubber banding, uh, the, the feeling, all that. You know, obviously maybe CSGO did some stuff better in CS2, worse in CS2, whatever. Um, had more game modes, had more uh, just content and stuff overall, but CS2 is going to get that content at some point. CS2 is going to get these updates at some point, and they're also going to get brand new stuff. You know, we're going to get an operation all this stuff at some point. So I do think the player base will come back, I think, and know that people love cases. People uh, love opening cases. They're addicted to opening cases, whatever. They can't help themselves. Uh, and as the player base grows uh, and things like that, and we get new content and new reasons for things to be happening, uh, we're also going to get these unboxing numbers going back up. And also, you have to understand, that, again, this is how markets go. This is how everything goes. Things come up and things go down. When uh, case unboxing numbers spike up, uh, they're going to come back down, and then they're going to heat up again. And honestly, these times uh, where they are down, that is the time to buy. That is the time to be aggressively buying the dip and honestly something that i'm really excited about seeing also is this again in june we saw from june 1st to july 1st we saw 15.4 million cases opened um, but again if we go back to this past month where uh, it starts to creep into the first like three weeks of july we're up to 16 million so we have seen a small percentage increase from june to july even though we've seen the player base drop so yes it is still very very far from that 33 million number that we saw in like may or whatever month that was um, but i'm really not concerned about it and again i don't care about month to month or week to week numbers or anything like that. I'm investing for long-term stuff. I'm investing for six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months. And I think in that time span, cases are still going to do insanely well. Uh, and these opportunities give us a chance to buy a ton of cases. And like I said, you can see here, I've been loading up on Prisma 2 cases. I've been loading up on any of these cases that I like. And there's so many good cases that right uh, out there right now that are dropping over the past month. As we obviously, have, as we see case numbers and case unboxing numbers drop, prices are going to drop because those things are always going to go hand in hand. When the case supply is getting eaten up, uh, the, the prices are going to skyrocket. When uh, not as many cases are getting unboxed, the prices are going to be going down. So, you know, something as amazing as the Prisma 2 case, one of my favorite investments in all of CS2 right now, down 8% in the past month. Hey, I'm going to be buying those up. Chrome 2 case, really great case, down 4% in the past month. Spectrum 2, down 5% in the past month. Danger Zone, down 10%. And the craziest thing here is if you look at the last month, Danger Zone is actually the most, well, I think it's the second most, it's actually the second most unboxed uh, rare duty case. I think the only one is snake bite, but again, uh, snake bite and danger zone aren't really comparable. So to me, danger zone might honestly be the king of the rare cases right now. It might actually be passing the Prisma two, but I think Prisma two and danger zone are both very, very amazing, uh, in terms of the unboxing numbers and just eating into the overall supply and stuff. But danger zones down 10% in the past month. You have an opportunity to pick it up at an awesome discount clutch down 13% in the past month, snake bite down 8% in the past month, glove case, uh, up eh, pretty flat over the past month, up like 1% revolver case is up. So there are, some cases that have actually been doing okay, but most cases are getting hit pretty hard. And like I said, to me, I see these as opportunities to buy the dip. So uh, I'm not concerned about the medium to long-term health or uh, you know performance of the cases in the case market. I'm not worried about the short-term dip in the unboxing numbers. Also, there is um, something to be said about maybe an error or some kind of glitch or some weird happening uh, in the CS2 case trackers number or database or anything like that because it is such a short drop-off. Um, but also, if we do rewind even further in the history, um, we can see here that we had unboxing numbers uh, like these as far back as January. You know, we were in the 21 millions. I don't really know what the numbers were um, too much before that, but uh, obviously numbers spiked up when we got into the CS2 era and everything. So things did get pretty crazy. But again, we were at 21 million in January and then things got up into the 30 million. So now being back down at like 16 million in the past month, it's not that far off of 21 million. Uh, and especially at such a dead time and a time where the player base is dropping a little bit and we haven't gotten any new content or anything. Um, I do think that once we start to get some new content, uh, people bring, bring people back to the game, bring uh, YouTubers, streamers, content creators, all that stuff back to the game, be doing a bunch of case unboxing and everything. Um, these unboxing numbers will rebound. I think these case prices are going to rebound. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm just buying the dip. I'm chilling. I'm relaxing. I'm not worried. And I really don't think you guys should be either. But yeah, it is pretty crazy and pretty interesting how far these numbers have fallen so fast. But it is what it is. I'm not going to worry about the day-to-day -day that much. Hopefully catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.